Good morning everyone. So, if you noticed, um, may bago tayong setup ngayon. I'm just so very happy kaya I decided to, um, siguro I'll be doing more of this one na medyo face-to-face -face tayo dahil um, for the past uh, how many months ever since I started, puro halaman yung pinapakita ko. But, when you're teaching something, it's very good then na meron kayong eye-to-eye -eye contact talaga. So, I think I'll be doing more of this and since we have a better setup here, in the balcony, um, I decided to be more face-to-face uh, -face with you guys from now on. So, our topic for today will be how to care for your benguet succulents from box to established. So, um, I noticed no, na halos, ngayon, halos nga wala akong video tutorial or uh, vlog na um, all about benguet succulents. So, majority of my plants kasi talaga are K-pops na. But, I started with um, the typical local succulents or yung mga baguette succulents natin. So, sila black prince, uh, rose cabbage. To the point, I was doing um, landscape work with my local succulents. I'll show you guys yung ginawa ko sa balcony ko in a bit. So, you know, I've been used to dealing with and taking care of baguette succulents. It's just that nag-progress yung hilig ko to more of the Korean succulents kasi nga makukulay, no? Like, before, wala namang variegated pati lang ng tomentosa or bear paws sa Benguet. Wala tayong uh, madiba. Walang lawi. So, these uh, plants that I used to really, really like, uh, when I see uh, plants from, let's say, World of Succulents, All About Succulents na Facebook page, sometimes parang sa ko, ay, parang I wanna try that out also, no? So, yun, that's the reason why I progress from local succulents to Benguet. I mean, to, from local to Korean. Ayan. But it doesn't mean that I, I love them less. I still love them. And occasionally, if you notice, I have big clumps of local succulents. Like I have my clump of red eyes, clump of darling sunshine, clump of ghost plants. So, marami. Pati tong si Ellen ko na sobrang taba. Galing actually to kay Ate Jen. Jen's rare. So, local yan. I wanna go back to the basics. So, I, I wanna show you guys what I do with it once I get it. One, uh, uh, what I do and how to establish them and when they're established what I do to make them look pretty and make them look beautiful so if you want to know more please keep on watching so don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be updated with my new videos see you in a bit step in caring for baguette succulents is that when you buy, please ask your sellers to cut all the roots. Ipapatrim nyo na lahat ng roots, no? Para hindi na sila mabubulok or hindi mataas yung risk na mabubulok sila during transit. So, like ito, no? Ito yung mga sample ng pinadala sa akin. Pero ito, namatay ito dahil nagkaroon siya ng rot. So, meron siyang rot. Hindi ko kasi tinreat, no? Yung itong mga succulents ito because tag-ulan siya nung dumating. Actually, basa itong package na to. Yung box niya basa. Namatayan ako ng ibang mga succulents kasi nung dineliver siya sa akin, nabasa siya ng ulan. And then, the next day ko pa siya nabuksan. Step 2. Once you get your box, ako po, hindi ko muna agad tinatanim. This plant, or this batch was actually um, air dried for two weeks bago ko sila pinaso. And when you air dry them a little bit more, don't put them in a dark area. At saka huwag nyo itataob kasi pag tinaob nyo ganyan, hindi makaka hindi makakasagap ng sunlight yung or ng ilaw tong top ng rosette which is the growing part of the plant. So if you do that air drying it, bubuka siya kasi wala siya ma-detect na sunlight. So, if you want to air dry them, air dry them ng, nakati, ng nakatihaya or nakaganyan, nakaibabaw. I don't know. This time, our priority is not to fatten them up. So, kahit malambot sila, please don't be scared. They're alive. Um, hindi naman yan uh, mamamatay agad. Basta hindi matutubigan. So, I let this one air dry for two weeks before I potted them. Step three. Um... If you if it's uprooted, if your plants are uprooted, 
ako I do I just do a physical check kung may mga pests no so I just yan binubuklat buklat ko lang siya kung meron siyang pests eh. yung roots since wala nang roots hindi na makatago doon yung mga ibang bugs and I just isolate nga diba for 2 weeks naka seedling tray lang sila for 2 weeks so if ever may sakit yung halaman like kung may fungus siya or meron siya mga uh, bugs no maglalabasan yan in that duration of time so kung walang lumabas no need to wash and no need to treat your plants with 7 or diethane so ako po hindi na ako nag 7 diethane bath dito so, itong mga to, eh, like, ayan, no, may mga naglabas na spot sa kanya. Pero, minimal lang siya. Natuyo din naman yung mga dahon niya. I check the stem. Okay naman. So, um, there's really not much we can do about this. Kung mamamatay siya, like this one, ano, like ito, nagsakomb siya sa kanyang charcoal rot. Ayan. Nagsakomb siya sa charcoal rot. Yeah. So, napansin ko na ito rin kasi, siya lang yung nag-iisang, ah, uh, plant na hindi rin nag-root. Sabay-sabay sila nag-roots, pero ito, hindi nag-root. So, sabi ko, ah, merong, merong issue tong halaman na to. So, the next step is my favorite part, which is spotting. So, ngayon, um, since may, ito may mga visible na ugat na ako nakita, pwede ko na ngayon siyang ipot. So, what I do next is I choose a really good soil mix for them. Um, I use, of course, plant culture pH, cultured soil with akadama and kanuma. Siyempre, hindi lang dapat kay papang special ang, ang soil, di ba? Pati ang ating mga Benguet babies. Ako kasi hindi, ayoko yung parang, oh, eto lang yung ano ko, soil mix ko, kasi Benguet lang yan. Hindi na ako magagay ng Akadama Kanuma. I will, I will still put Akadama and Kanuma because I know it's premium and, and it's a better soil mix for them. For me, I will use my premium soil mix to use for my Benguet succulent. So, eto, ipapat natin, ipapat natin siya ngayon. So, ayan, lubog lang. Ayan, alikabok kasi no dry no again um part of the trick para hindi kayo mabubulukan also ng succulent na bagong pot is make sure that your soil is very very dry so ako binibilad ko sa araw um ng ilang araw kahit siguro mga isang linggo and then lalagay ko sila sa container na na airtight para hindi talaga sila mababasa or papasukan ng moisture that way if the plant doesn't, hindi pa siya talaga nakakahil yung mga sugat niya, hindi, hindi, uh, hindi siya magiging at risk to rot or napasukan ng bacteria or pasukan ng moisture dahil dun sa soil mix, no? So, I give them dry soil. Ayan. Ha! And, choose a good pot for them. Ayan. Para magmukhang K-pop yung, ano nyo, yung yung benguet succulent nyo para maganda tignan lahat gandahan dad natin yung mga pot so this one I'm using um, a smooth terracotta pot this one I got from Sis Pierre of Plant House so ito yung gagamitin ko sa kanya and then gagawin kong topping sa kanya para bang, ano siya K-pop look lalagyan ko siya ng kanuma toppings yan saya diba kakatuwa I love potting so much kasi parang Ano, yung, yung tunog ng rustle ng soil, when you touch the soil, it feels really good. Um, when you put the, the, the plant and you, parang you try to decorate it, uh, yun yung parang siguro part ng, ano, ng fascination or part ng pagiging uh, hardinera, ba Pag-aalaga ng succulents, yun yung parang isa sa mga pinaka-favorite part ko. Na I really take my time, hindi ako nagmamadali na tapusin. So even if I like I have a hundred of plants, hundreds of plants to pot, hindi ako na mapagod kasi minsan kahit madaling araw, kahit 2 o'clock na na madaling araw, nagpapot pa ako. Ewan ko kung ako lang yun eh. Pero yun, I really enjoy um, potting my plants. So ayan, here. So this is the finished look of my black prince. So the next step is watering. So ngayon, ito yung ating newly potted, no? So kunyari, ito na lang yung ating um, one week, no? Kapag patagalin natin siya ng one week na nakapot, let it settle to the pot for a week. Do not water. And then, um, ito again, I'll, I'll, show, <laughs> I'll explain to you guys the 10 ml method, ah. I only do the 10 ml method for newly potted plants na na, nasa maliit na pot na 3x3. But, if you have a bigger pot, of course, adjust accordingly. But the main purpose of doing a small amount of water every 3 to 4 days for the next one and a half weeks would only be uh, is because we want to um, 
we want to tell the plant that there's moisture in the soil and that they it should grow roots so it is to entice the roots to grow longer and farther that's why ang ang purpose nung brim of the pot yun yung purpose ng brim of the pot so kunyari ito no 10 ml so mag-squirt lang tayo ng konting tubig sa brim ng pot ayan 10 ml is enough every 3 to 4 days para ma-detect niya yung um, moisture sa soil. So, kapag naramdaman niya na, ah, may moisture sa soil, magpapatakbo na yan ng ugat. But, let's say this one is our one month and a half uh, pot. So, matagal na natin siyang naipot. No? Ito actually is already a month plus with me. So, this one is ready for full water. So, what I do is, I let the uh, water drip to the bottom of the pot. So, I water it hanggang sa masok yung buong pot niya. Hanggang sa may Ayan, hangga sa may tumulo sa ilalim na tubig. Ayan. So, ngayon, naka-full water na siya. Actually, it didn't even take a lot, no? So, let's see, ha. Kuha tayo ng isang pot. Ito, this one. I haven't watered this one. Tapos, ito. Ngayon, nasa 80 ml siya. Tignan natin kung ilang ml ang makukuha niya para mapuno niya yung pot. So, 80 ml tayo nag-start. Tapos, make sure natin na paikot para alam natin kung ilang ml at saka lahat ng uh, part ng pot is watered. Ayan. So, nag-drip na siya. It's, the, the one that's left is at 25. So, kung 80, so meron tayong 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So, 55 ml ang na-take up niya ng full water. Usually, tayo aabot tayo ng 20 to 30 ml for our um, adjustment watering. So, yung ating ano, no, kapag nagwa-water tayo ng nagpapa-acclimatize at saka nagpapa-ugat. So, giving them 20 ml, 30 ml is not a small thing. It's like half of the pot na yung tinutubigan mo. So, if you're, uh, hindi natin, in, hindi talaga natin inuuhaw yung halaman naman. Binibigyan natin. And you can check that sa center. Mapapansin nyo, dapat yung gitna niya, matigas pa rin at healthy at shiny. Pero yung bottom niya, mapapansin nyo, malambot. And it doesn't matter for me. Di, hindi siya malaking factor sa akin ngayon. Kasi nga, again, nagpapa-establish tayo. So, next step is sunlight. Ayan. So, now we're here sa balcony ko, facing um, my area here. And then, I'll show you guys. I don't know how to... Ayan. So, this is again my balcony setup. Um, yung sunlight ko, dito nagka-start tuwing ganito panahon. Bro, season, dito siya umaangat. Pagating ng 10 o'clock, nandito na siya. 11 o'clock, nandito na siya. 12 o'clock, nandito siya banda. And then, 2 o'clock to sunset na sa right side na siya. I push my plants slowly. <laughs> hindi ko sila binibigla para hindi sila mahirapan. Pero, meron din naman mga halaman na forever pang ganito lang. Sino-sino yung mga yun? Itong mga panda plants, ito. Ayan, sila kalan ko. Ito, mentosa. Ayan. Sila, forever na ganyan na lang sila. Pang morning sun lang sila. Ito kasing rock na to, this space is actually, um, tinatamaan na siya ng direct morning sun from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So, kapag nandito na yung araw, tinatamaan siya dito. So, you can see, no? Ayan, no? Ito yung view niya. So, hanggang 9 o'clock lang yung araw. Kapag nandito na yung araw, yung shade nitong um, ng roof, no, tatama na sa kanya. Hindi na siya actually naaarawan. Kapag nadito, dating niya na dito sa uh, ibabaw na to, nakaharangan na siya ng bubong. So, this one is actually shaded the rest of the day. Ayan. So, yung mga sensitive plants ko na hindi ko pwedeng paarawan, like sila, no, sila yung nilalagay ko dito sa area na yan. So, so there. That is how I treat my Benguet succulents hanggang sa umabot sila sa stage na established na sila. So, from box to established, um, that's how I do it with my Benguet succulents. And I hope you learned something today. And don't be scared, no? Play around with them. Um, wag natin masyadong um, ikha nga dibdibin yung, ano, yung pag-aalaga ng succulents. Masarap silang gawin, pero pag namatay, ganun talaga, try again, <laughs> ikha nga, no? So, I learned from experience. I learned through so many heartaches and heartbreaks. And nako nakailang 
ilang ano ilaki ilang patay na yata ka ng black friends and that is the only way I learned and I think that is the only way also that you will learn so um uh, me making this video is just parang putting out a guide but the best teacher talaga is experience so uh, have fun and collect your uh, Try it with your plants, and if they die, it's okay. Just get another one. Um, just, just remember to don't uh, ikanga eh. Ibase mo sa knowledge mo yung plants na bibilin mo. Uh, don't rush into buying plants just because it's uso. Don't, don't buy because ang sarap ng maraming hall. Um, it you will you will get there, and you just have to really uh, pace yourself. Uh, when buying succulents, when buying plants, get to know them each one by one before you buy a lot. So, acquisition is not the uh, name of the game. It's not acquiring as many plants as you can. It's more of how well you can care for the plants that you have. So, pagandahin muna natin yung kung anong meron tayo, saka tayo bumili ng panibagong halaman or choose a more difficult plant. Let's pace ourselves para hindi tayo laging namamatayan ng halaman kasi I know how hard uh, it is or how, how hard it feels when you lose a plant. It's just like losing a pet, no? Um, and I think sometimes, um, syempre, when we get over and beyond our head, sometimes we would invest in, a, in an expensive plant that we don't even know how to care for. And again, you know, our benguet succulents, hindi sa, sinasabi ko ang pag-practice natin sila. But since they are inexpensive or hindi sila ganun ka kasing mahal compared to Korean succulents, they are a very good starting ground for you to learn how to care for uh, a more expensive plant in the future. So, so, yun yung dapat na goal natin sa pagiging hardinero or hardinera sa pagiging plant parent. It's not, again, it's not the acquisition but how good uh, we are in taking care of them. If we can make them flourish, if we can make them thrive in our area. Dahil, you know, iba-iba tayo again ng microclimate, iba-iba tayo ng situation sa ating garden. So, um, hindi natin pwede i-compare ang sarili natin sa kahit sinong gardener. Like, kunyari, ako, hindi ko pwede compare sarili ko kay Lohar Eubanks. Alam yun, because they're blessed with good weather and we have a more um, we have a more challenging microclimate here. I cannot compare myself with another friend just in Paranaque because iba rin ang microclimate niya. Uh, our microclimates will always be different. So, walang cookie cutter na ika nga manual or manual on how to care for succulents. It's really up to you on how you care for your plants and how you can make them thrive. So, whatever works for you, keep on doing that. Don't let other people say, oh, mali yan, oh, mali yan, or mali yan. Because whatever works for you, works for you. Like for me, um, my plants are thriving with the way I care for them. So I'm happy and I'm just sharing with you my experience. If you learn something from what I'm, I'm telling you, then you can, and, and if you tried it and if it works for you, then good, diba? Parang if it doesn't, then look for another way to to care for your plant na uh, baka hindi yun yung parang tugma ba hindi yun yung parang perfect na na way no for so you. it's very important that we get to know our plant by ourselves we get to know them one by one on our own and then move on from move on from one to plant to the next so start with echeverias and then start next would be graptopetalums and next would be sedums and then next would be crassulas hangga sa maintindihan natin yung bawat halaman natin and then saka tayo mag progress to a more difficult plant like uh, hybrids ganyan so, I hope you learned something new today and I hope I was able to explain thoroughly the things that I do for my Bengal succulents uh, kung ano yung naging different sa pag-aalaga sa Korean at saka sa Benguet. Actually, pagkatapos nila ma-establish, wala na pagkakaiba. It's just really more on the air drying and the and the preparation. Ano. So, thank you very much for watching and I hope you had fun and enjoyed um, my new setup. And please, 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 don't forget to choose to be kind always, everyone. Bye!